So hey folks, Bill here, Whirly Bird Video, uh, back with Mike, and we also got Greg here, which is normally behind the camera, but we got Chester behind the camera today, and then we got a new guy, Ron, here, so there's a bunch of guys from the club. We've got an obstacle course we built here with PVC pipe, and we're going to fly through them. Got the little uh, Proto-X, and Greg's got a Nano, and uh, Ron's got a Nano, or no, that's a Proto-X, and uh, Mike's going to fly his little 250 FPV through the obstacle course, so it's going to be pretty neat. But at any rate, let's check it out and uh, see if we can crash something. <laughs> I was supposed to go out the side of that cube. There you go. It took like 16 minutes. Next! So I made these things to try to be simple or more complex according to how your uh, skill quality or how you fly. And anyway, you got these kind of straight, but you can also pivot these. So if you make it a little harder, you can pivot them in different orientations and try to make it harder. But you go through these two, and then you come into the cube, and then turn. So, But if it's too hard for you, you can just go straight through. And then on the ladders over there, you go through, and then you back up and come back through backwards, and then go through forwards again. So you go through that one three times. Again, if the skill level's too hard, do it a different way. But also thought maybe going down through the top and turning, or even coming up through the bottom and turning, so you could do it several different ways. Uh, but three little things and make up a fun little course. So Greg's gonna try now with his Nano QX. This one's famous, right? It was on flight test. Yes, this is what started the <laughs> Nano craze. <laughs> Oh, he's not going to make it. I made it through. Oh, I'll start on it. No, just keep going. You're all right. Now the wind's going to pick up. Yeah, and it's not going to want to fly for me. <laughs> Oh, 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 <laughs> well, you got it now, she's locked in, maybe, oh, there you go, oh, and you crash. oh, you got that one, oh, he made it, he did a lot faster than I did, he went to crash, now he's crashing, <laughs> gotta do this safely, I got your spot. Yay! It's the first time I've seen one break. So you can break it, apparently. You can glue that back together. <laughs> I'm disqualified. Dang. Sixteen dollars. Oh well. That's what happened. <laughs> I'm out. So God doing loops. Oh, that counts. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, that okay. counts. <laughs> Thank you. 
better see that. Game over. Oh! Stuck a prop in it. <laughs> <laughs> that makes them easier to find. Find easy. Stick it in the thing. <laughs> there you go. Note to self. Hit the phone. Head on. <laughs> Woo! He's winning fast. Oh, he's screaming oh, he now. Oh. I made it through once. Yeah, you got it. Halfway. So uh, the obstacle is definitely harder than it looks. Once you get practice down, it's better even if it makes it a little harder if you just go stand in one spot. But when you first start practice, just kind of what we used to call walking the dog, kind of follow around with it, get used to it. But it's pretty neat. Make sure you use the foam. The hitting the PVC is pretty rough. Uh, without the foam, it's, it's uh, even rougher. Uh, Mike had a crash yesterday and I think that's what did in his arm but because uh, I really don't think that would have broke his arm. Yeah. Uh, those are tough little frames. It's yep. been through a lot worse crashes than that. Well it's crashed from uh, 100 plus feet twice and I think yesterday when I lost my video link and I crashed it from right around 100 feet just guessing that's probably what did the frame in. Yeah. I just didn't notice it was probably cracked. Well, Greg seemed to have the fastest time with his. Uh, I just mine flew away and went to some other town, but <laughs> I got it back and finished. But uh, definitely these are harder. Me and Ron was really fighting the wind with these little things outside here. Uh, but it's still a lot of fun. I think this size is probably about the best size. Maybe the little rubber quad things uh, from uh, Hobby King, I think, has got those. Those would be really good, and they're cheap. FPV is very difficult. Yeah, the blue one's kind of hard to get through. Got through yesterday, but very unsuccessful today. <laughs> this one seems easy, and then this one's really hard, and this one's pretty easy. But to getting into the cube and actually making that turn FPV is very, very difficult to do. But it's a lot of fun. So let's go fly some more, and uh, please rate, subscribe, big thumbs up. We'll see you next time on Whirly Bird Video.